Hello, and welcome to the ground stacking tutorial for the JBL VTX A6 line array loudspeaker and the VTX B15 and B15G subwoofers. To start, use the ground stacked array mode of JBL line array calculator 3 software to determine the desired system coverage. Ground stacked array mode enables creating mixed arrays incorporating both VTX full range and subwoofer products. This mode uses an advanced tipping factor algorithm to determine the mechanical safety of an array and helps you decide which accessories to use with the configuration you specify. The B1 GND Universal Accessory can be used with the built-in rigging on the B15 to add stability to ground stacked arrays by extending the base footprint. To install the B1 GNDs, begin with the subwoofer on the caster board. Insert the B1 GNDs into the bottom rigging point on the subwoofer and secure them with the attached pins. The B1 GND is not compatible with the B15G, so smaller arrays must be used in configurations incorporating the B15G. Set the subwoofer onto its feet. One person can easily flip a B15 riding on a caster board. Set the next subwoofer on top, extend the link bars, and pin the rigging together. Remove each caster board by sliding one of the spring-loaded handles inward and pulling from one side to detach the board. The caster boards can be stacked together by referencing the arrows on them and guiding the casters into the wheel cups of the board below. The A6BP base plate is a universal ground stacking accessory that can be attached to many different surfaces, including all VTX B series subwoofers. To build a ground stack array including both the A6 and B15, place the base plate on the top subwoofer and remove the M20 knob that secures the angle selection plates. Pin the two angle selection plates to the rear of the base plate using the attached pins. Secure the base plate to the M20 attachment point on the subwoofer with the included knob. Stack the first A6 cabinet onto the base plate by first pinning the front points, then selecting the correct angle for the rear points and inserting the pins. Select the required inter-cabinet angles on the A6, engage the rigging hardware, and continue until the array is built. To disassemble the array, execute the steps in the reverse order. As previously mentioned, the A6 base plate is a universal accessory that can be used with other VTX subwoofers, including the B18 and B28 using the same assembly steps. Three additional M20 positions are available to allow better placement of A6s with larger subwoofers. The VTX A6 base plate can also be used as a pole mount accessory for up to three A6 cabinets. Using the reinforced M20 threaded mount in the center of the sub, attach a standard 35 mm speaker pole. Place the VTX PM pole mount adapter onto the base plate and attach it by screwing the included pair of thumb screws into the two threaded holes on the bottom of the base plate. Slide this assembly on top of the pole and tighten the thumb screw. Stack the speaker cabinets on top of the base plate one by one, just like in a standard ground stack. For more information regarding angles and presets for a pole mounted A6 configuration, refer to the VTX A6 user manual. For more details on the rigging and other configuration options for B15 and A6 systems, please refer to the rigging manual and user guides for each accessory. Thank you for watching.